So hello and welcome, Microbe Hunter here. Well, there is a general problem that many people uh, are facing and that is, is if they see something on uh, under the microscope or on their computer screen, a picture taken by a microscope camera, uh, then it's very difficult to estimate how large is this object in the first place. And uh, as a matter of fact, um, the knowledge of the size of the object would be quite important uh, because this could help you rule out certain organisms. So if you know that uh, bacteria should be about this large on your computer monitor, well then you of course can rule out other things uh, that are significantly larger or smaller. But the question of course is how large should bacteria or other organisms be on the computer screen? And this depends of course on a variety of factors. And uh, one way of uh, determining the size would of course be to use a so-called a micrometer slide. But many people don't have that. Um, and uh, today in this video I would like to make a purely theoretical calculation on how big objects should be on a computer screen. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing a little bit of math. But bear with me. I think what's significantly more important than the actual calculation is, is an understanding of all of the factors that determine the magnification on your computer screen after you've uh, placed an object under your microscope. I mean, that is really the most important thing. And as a matter of fact, I did receive uh, a question from one of my viewers that it exactly addresses this specific problem. And I'd like uh, to read out the question first. Hello, can you help me figure out the magnification if I have a four times objective lens, a 0.5 times reduction lens, a 24 inch monitor and a camera uh, with a one to 2.33 inch image sensor. Because I'm confused when I look at yogurt and I see something like bacteria, but they don't even move a little bit. So again, I want to know if these are some bacteria or just a lump of milk. Thank you. Well, first of all, thank you very much uh, for the question. And in order to answer this uh, question, I would like uh, to give you first an overview on how I'm going to do the calculation. Um, and as a matter of fact, there are going to be four steps uh, and uh, I'm going to give you an overview first and then I'm going to go into more detail and I'm going to calculate uh, the magnification using your values. So step number one is, is, is we have to um, figure out how much the optical system of the microscope magnifies. So when I put a specimen here um, under the microscope on my slide, how big is this specimen going to be on the sensor in the microscope camera? That is the first uh, question. So um, let's say bacteria have a size of approximately one micrometer. Well, if this optical system projects the image on the sensor, how many micrometers is the image going to be large on the sensor? And this is going to be the first calculation. And then in the second step is I'm going to convert the size in micrometers into the number of pixels that this object requires on the sensor. And this of course um, is important uh, to figure out because later on we'll be processing the image on the computer so I need to know the number of pixels and this, these pixels they depend um, on the so-called on the pixel density of the sensor. So on the size of the sensor and also um, on the resolution um, of the sensor. The third step is, is when the whole thing goes in and into the computer, is, is then we have and we we have to consider the, the physical properties of the monitor. What is the pic what are the pixel what's the pixel density of the monitor? And is the monitor large or small? And not only that, but also how many pixels are there? Um, so this is gonna be the third uh, calculation. And then once I've got that, and once I have the image on the monitor, then I can do a total magnification calculation, which means I'm going to take a ruler and I'm going to measure out the size of the image on the monitor and divide it by the original size, if this is known. Um, and uh, then I can get the total magnification all the way from the object all the way on my computer screen. So that is the overview. And now I'm going to show you how to do this. Well, in order to calculate the total magnification of the optical system, that is quite easy. Actually, what we have to do is, is we have to multiply the magnification of the objective by the magnification of the intermediate optics. So if you have, for example, a microscope camera like, uh, like, like this, um, then 
uh, this uh, intermediate optics also has a certain magnification factor and you have to know this um, either it's written on it or you simply check the specifications usually it's around 0.3 or 0.5 depending on the size of, of the sensor so in this case uh, we have uh, the intermediate optics the reduction optics uh, has a magnification of 0.5 and the objective has a magnification of, of 4 we multiply those two together to get um, a magnification of 2. So in other words, um, a bacterium that has a 1 micrometer um, in real life will be projected as an image with a size of 2 micrometers on the image sensor relatively easy um, so and uh, in, if you have a DSLR camera for example connected then sometimes the projection eyepiece or the intermediate optics has a value which is larger than one um, because uh, the sensor is also larger and therefore you have to have a higher magnification to fit the image on the sensor and for those microscope cam cameras usually the magnification is called a reduction um, optics because it actually makes the magnification smaller so that you're able to fit more um, yeah a, a, images um, image on on the sensor to kind of uh, get a better field of view that's kind of a side issue of why the magnifications are sometimes different but i think that's a topic of a separate video so in any case in summary you multiply the objective times the intermediate optics to get the total optical magnification of the microscope now if you uh, connect a camera a pocket camera um, in front here uh, then of course you also have to multiply the magnification of uh, the pocket camera but uh, usually this is not quite well known all the time so i would probably say that this is uh, kind of imprecise um, or inaccurate rather um, so it is actually better to use uh, um, a system where the image is directly projected onto the sensor simply because then you have uh, more accurate data so we now have a closer look um, at uh, the sensor and what we have to do now is, is we have to convert uh, the size uh, in usually micrometers um, of the image on the sensor into the number of pixels. And in this case uh, we know that it is a 1 to 2.33 inch sensor but unfortunately this information alone is not enough. I need to know the sensor resolution as well. So what I'm assuming is, is I'm assuming a 5 megapixel camera. Um, and uh, this uh, means, and now I have to look, uh, would mean that a 5 megapixel camera would have a, a resolution number of pixels of uh, 2592 pixels. And uh, I did a little bit of research. The width of a sensor, of, of this sensor, would be 4 point, no, 6.16 millimeters. Okay, so it's 6.16 millimeters times uh, 4.6 millimeters. And uh, with these values, uh, we can do now a direct uh, proportion calculation. So I'm taking the horizontal width, the number of uh, pixels um, yeah, across, and um, I'm uh, plugging it in into the formula, direct proportion formula, and I solve for x. I do this uh, by cross uh, multiplying, so in this case it would be 2 uh, micrometers times uh, 2,592 pixels divided by 6.16 millimeters, and then I have the number of pixels that this object requires, which is 0.8 four pixels that's less than a pixel so using a four times objective and a 0.5 times um, in reduction optics i would not be able to see a bacterium of one micrometer because that would take the space of less than one pixel 0.8 pixels so already now i know this is way too uh, too, too little um, so in order to calculate continue the calculations i'm going to assume that i'm going to use a 40 times objective otherwise it wouldn't make a lot of sense to continue the calculation so i'm um, yeah um, i simply multiply everything by 10 uh, so i say that with a 40 times objective i would get 8.4 pixels because 40 times is 10 times more than the four times and this means also that the number of pixels has to be 10 times as much so um, that is basically the thing that i am assuming right now with a 40 times objective i'm getting 8.4 pixels um, on the camera here and now we can proceed uh, to step uh, number three which is is uh, the where we look at the monitor where um, on the monitor we want to now convert those pixels back into millimeters um, so that I have a real life measure so that I can actually do the final magnification calculation as well.
Yeah, so I had to do again a little bit of research. In, in this case, so we're talking about a 24 inch uh, monitor and assuming a 16 to 9 aspect ratio, I found out that the monitor must be around 53 centimeters wide, which is 530 millimeters. And assuming that the monitor has a full HD resolution, it means that the horizontal number of pixels is 1920. So, and again, we're doing the, again a direct uh, proportion uh, calculation, 1920 pixels divided by 530 millimeters equals to 8.4 pixels, assuming the 40 times objective, divided by x, resolve for x. Yes, and uh, what do we get? We get uh, a size of uh, 2.3 millimeters. So, in other words, a bacterium of size uh, 1 micrometer will be shown with a size of 2.3 millimeters on my computer monitor. But we have to be careful here that we do not uh, zoom in or zoom out on the computer monitor. So what we have to do is we have to go and uh, set the image to an appropriate size, which is the original size. So 100%, not fitting to the screen, not zooming in, but we want to make sure that every pixel of the image actually also is shown as one pixel on the screen so we display the display has to be or the picture has to be set to be displayed uh, using the original size. So we can now calculate the total magnification that is uh, quite simple we divide the 2.3 uh, millimeters uh, which is 2300 uh, micrometers so we have to move the decimal over by three places we will divide the 2300 micrometers by the one micrometer original bacterial size to get a total magnification of 2300 times for this uh, particular system and this particular 40 times um, objective. So this is basically um, yeah, pretty much all that you have to do. And once you know the magnification, then of course uh, you can measure out easily things using your ruler on the computer monitor. Always be careful that you show the image in its original size. And then you divide it by 2300 and then you get the original size. You have to be aware, however, that this is only an estimate. Um, so if you want to make scale bars and if you want to be really precise about the whole thing or accurate rather, um, you should actually use a micrometer slide, um, I think. Um, so what I have done is now I've uh, used uh, my uh, own system, which is a DSLR camera. Um, and uh, we, I've got a photo projection eyepiece and I've uh, done the whole calculation. And I have also used a micrometer slide. And uh, what I have done is, is I have then compared how much of are those two values. And um, yeah, so basically here is uh, the data of my system. And then I got uh, to a theoretical magnification using the math um, of 1074 times using a 10 times uh, objective. And the measured out magnification using a micrometer slide is 1130. Um, as the magnification. So I did a the calculated the difference and then calculated the percent error and that is around a 5% error, which I think is is, is okay. Um, yeah. So that's uh, pretty much all I wanted to, to say here. Um, and uh, yeah, um, what you what I encourage you to do is, is I encourage you to simply also try to find those numbers uh, for your system and also play through the math uh, a little bit uh, and uh, then you know also um, yeah, the total magnification that uh, your system is able to provide. I think uh, for an, today this is enough math. Uh, I think it's probably not going to be the last time that I'm going to make a video about magnification. Um, so I'm actually thinking about making a video to where I talk about the reason why different uh, um, intermediate eyepieces and uh, reduction optics rather why they have different magnifications as well so it also has to do something with the sensor size but I leave that up uh, to a different video for today I wish you all the best happy microbe hunting as always see you around next time bye bye